there are several things that I think cannot be reduced to physics. Uh, having to, let's just talk about mental um, phenomena. One is consciousness, which even animals presumably right. have. Yeah. Um, rationality and free will. But even if you take consciousness, which, which say a dog or a cat or a frog presumably has, there are very strong arguments, I, I think absolutely, uh, I would say compelling arguments, that you cannot reduce consciousness to physics. Now, it's not to say that consciousness is a miraculous or supernatural. Yeah. I think consciousness is a natural phenomenon. When you have certain physical structures there, I think consciousness naturally arises as a consequence of it. And certain kinds of physical structures give certain types of conscious experiences, and others give other types. But it's not, a, so the physical structures and processes might cause conscious phenomena. But the causality is not the kind that physics can explain. If, even if you had a complete physical description of some entity, uh, in classical physics, it would be knowing what all the positions and velocities and so on, all the particles and the strengths of the fields. But even in a quantum mechanical level, if you knew the wave function of the system exactly, you had an exhaustive, complete physical description of what all those material things are doing. There's no way to derive from that logically or mathematically any conclusion about whether that entity was having conscious experiences, had, had, there was any subjectivity any mind, any consciousness there. Um, and, that's, and that shows it's not physics, because in physics, when you explain one physical phenomenon as being the result of another, you are able to derive the effect from the cause using the equations that come from the laws, the fundamental laws of physics. It's a mathematical and logical deduction or derivation. I can show you why yeah. <laughs> if you put the, the glass of water in the microwave and turn it on, I can explain to you from the equations why the water boils. Uh, you can't explain consciousness coming from phys physical phenomena in that way. If consciousness is something natural, I would think. It is, I would say, certainly not something that's a part of physics. So the dream of reducing everything to physics, which is what a lot of materialists have, it fails even at that level, let alone things like rationality and free will, which are even higher than consciousness. Right. It doesn't explain things in that way. It can't explain that kind of phenomenon. 